Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I am just going to do a, a little crafty video um, making stuff. Now these are um, some painted pieces of ledger that I had done and I, um, I have scanned them and scanned them I should say and I um, just printed them out. So there's, I don't know, I think there's six. There I was just trying different things. And then I printed on the reverse side. And I just thought I might make some fun things. I don't know what. I don't, I, I didn't do a video yesterday. I didn't actually get into my sewing room. So I, um, I didn't actually do any videos. And I, I'm sort of like, I'm in that sort of, I don't know what I want to do sort of mood at the moment. So I'm just going to make things with them I guess. I think with this one I'm going to make an envelope. So I'm going to fold this over here. Now I'm a bit cold. I've probably I've got my scarf over my shoulders because I'm a bit chilly but I'll just move it so um, it's just that time of the day when you get chilly. Even though it's nice and warm outside I think it's about 19 degrees but I don't know, I just feel a bit cold. So how is everybody today? Hope you're well. I'm going to put that about there, I think. And just make a nice envelope. And then we'll decorate. I know it's painted, but we will decorate it as well. Okay. So that one's folded like... Well, maybe I'll finish this one off and then we'll do something else. So following on from... Really following on from um, my other videos, uh, my weekly challenge when uh, we made envelopes with the book pages. But this is with my scanned painted page. So is it warming up in the Northern Hemisphere and other countries in the Northern Hemisphere? I know in Australia it's cooling down. Mum said, she, well, Mum lives, it's a bit, she's, where Mum is is a bit higher than Sydney. So she, she said at night time it's already down to 10 degrees Celsius. But during the day it's still warm. Um, I'm sure Sydney's much warmer than that. Uh, and But in the Northern Hemisphere we should all, we're all heading into spring. So I'm hoping we don't become too hot too soon, though. That's, I wouldn't, you know, I don't enjoy that. Okay, so now I want to. I'm gonna just. I mean, you could leave this open too, like you don't have to close it because it is printed all the way. But um, I'm thinking I'm gonna close it into an envelope, and I'm just going to actually. Let me just see for a second. Good. I think I'll trim those down a bit further. And I think I might just round those slightly because I like that look. Okay. And then I'm wondering, do I want to fold those? In? No, I don't think I do. I'm just going, I'm actually just going to snip my corners off. I'm, only, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to worry about it. And there we go. So we'll glue that down and then we'll come back to it. I'll put, I'm going to put a little bit of embellishing on it, I think. Well, that's what I'm thinking, but I could change my mind, but we'll see. We'll just glue this down, put a little bit of glue here. I hope we don't want glue inside. Okay. Well, yes, that should be all right. So that's one thing, and then I'll come back and we'll do some something on it. Now, what will I do with this one? Because I was thinking it could be fun to make some some nice flippy things. So I've got to figure that out. So let me see here. How big would I want it? Probably not quite that big. I just printed that big piece of something that I've got there. I probably don't want it quite that big if I want a flippy thing. 
Um, just let me think. But I have to fold it, don't I? I don't have to fold it like that. I have to fold it the other way. So I just grab my ruler and I'll tear it a bit. I'm going to use the upper part. I'm going to take off a bit more than, than um, half. And then what I want to do, I was thinking I was going to make them all into envelopes. Now, what I want to do is, now I need to fold this. No, I don't want to fold that yet. I want to fold this bit here. And I'm thinking this can be a something that can attach to a page so it's a flip. Okay, so we we'll ignore that. And then I need to fold this to not quite to the fold there. Leave it a few millimeters there. But I want to fold it up, I think, to have it a bit like a coin pouch, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to keep this bit here. I'm going to cut this bit off. I'm going to cut it at an angle there. And now that's my bit that I'm going to glue to a page. And it's good that it's double-sided because you could just glue it on the page like that and then it will flip. And then here we need to trim along the line there and then at an angle there. Okay, so let's see. It's kind of a shame to cover up what's inside because it's so pretty, but I, I actually really like that. I think we'll do that. And I think I'll glue that on the outside rather than the inside. So first thing I need to do, well, actually another thing I'm going to do, or I might do it on that side, is grab my circle punch and I'm just going to snip this. Okay, so that's what you'll see. And we're going to glue this shut, even though it would have been nice to leave it open. I get I'm I'm become being I'm feeling very hoardy about these papers. Um but they're scanned, so I don't know why I'm being like that. I didn't glue down the bottom because I'm gonna glue the flap up and have the flap on the outside. Oh wait, I can put my glue on here just a sec. So we'll do another one, I think, so that way you guys can see the process again. So that would, or it can um, just say, I don't have any pages here. Just say I had a page. Let me find something that could be a page. Just say this is a page in the journal. This is a piece of newsprint paper. Okay, this is my page. I can attach this here like so, and then it can flip, or I can attach it this way can wrap around the page and then flip so there's two choices okay so we'll just crease that properly that's all gluing okay and we'll put that aside and we'll do another one the thing about this paper here is you could write on it it could be nice to write on but anyway we'll we'll fold it over this way she might i shall do this bit first we're going to do it in the opposite direction Put it there so I'm not going quite to my crease so it doesn't bother the crease see and you don't have to put your little tuck there fold that up but um, you do end up with a tighter pocket if you if you don't do that step you don't have to it's not obligatory but I like I do like the look of it so I'm, I'm just going to show you the folding again so you can see where we cut so we cut this is so where this flaps here, this is what's going to glue down. And this is the flap that we want to keep for gluing. So I just like to cut them at an angle. I think they look better than that cut at an angle. And then this is going to cut to there, to the crease. And then it's going to, this is going to go across. And you can cut just inside your fold line, just to make sure it doesn't sort of overhang here. It doesn't crash into the to the um, fold. So let me think here. I've got to glue down this side. This is being glued. 
I haven't done my clip, but yeah, I won't clip it yet. We'll do that after. It doesn't matter. So that's going to glue there. So it's not crashing into where that fold. There's a little gap there. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is going to fold up. So these are like little, almost like little um, coin pouches, really. Except they don't have a, a flap at the top. They're flippy pockets. We'll call them flippy pockets. Okay. Let's make sure it's not crashing. Okay, and then I can I can do it now. I probably can do it without it popping open. Just get this. Okay, so I've got two of those from one sheet of paper, which is good. Let's see what else we can do. I think I might... Oh, isn't that pretty? What can we do with this? Petsy something. Can't read it. 1924. Nice writing. I like the writing. The old Lyra. 1927, 1926, 1925. Um, so here we've got these flippy pockets. I really like those. Here we've got an envelope. Loving that. I might do a blue envelope, I think. I'll make this one into an envelope. Even though I do love, I love, love, love the writing. Oh, I should have. I was very careful to try and get my... Um, this printing up the same way as the outside but I should have printed it actually the opposite for envelopes this one accidentally printed upside down on the other side so it's perfect so it's actually going up the right way when you do your enfold your envelope but this one's going to be upside down because I didn't think about it like I, yeah I didn't think about that what I, I didn't really know what I was going to do with these before I um, did my video see I can have that upside down and that will be that way you know, I think I prefer it to have this up the right way. And that can just be upside down. So fold that. Okay, so let's cut our pieces. I think it's always helpful to, to keep seeing um, where you do your cutting. I always cut just on inside of the line for the... The, the flap that's going to be glued down for this this is you know going to fold up and be glued down okay oh you know what would be really cool would be to do a window one I'd have to get my um, cutter I was distracted for a second thinking that I'd like to do a window one and then wasn't thinking about what I was doing okay so this is going to glue up here and this one I'm just going to cut a bit more at an angle See, the thing about it, you can always go and print them again if you want to see the inside. Okay. And I printed these on my HP. I was going to print them on the Epson. But the Epson's not working. Printed a big line down the centre, like what Canon did with the new uh, Windows update, which is really annoying. And so I'm just going to have to wait till Steph comes. I tried to understand what I had to do. I'm a bit of a ding dong. 
and I didn't want to do anything wrong. I kind of found an article and t that tells you what to do, but I thought if I do something wrong, I'll be in trouble. So I thought I've saved it all and I'll just get Steph to... Um... So that's upside down, but that's the right way. Um, I'll just get Steph to do it when he comes home. Now this one here. I'm not feeling very inventive at the moment. So what can I do with this one? This one has this lovely page on the reverse side. I mean, this would be just lovely in a journal, just like that. Just put it in the journal. And you've got a pretty page. So I'm thinking, what about if I fold? But that's not going to fit anywhere, is it? Mm. Let me have this one. Well, maybe I'll decorate these first. See what, see where it's taking me. How about that? Put those aside for now. We don't have to do everything. Let's just look at these and do these and then have a think about that at a later date. Okay. So I want to grab I'm just going to grab some some book pages, I think. Got a whole lot of book pages and things in here. So we'll just grab see what we can grab out of here. See, I bought these on AliExpress. Do not buy these on AliExpress. They're nice paper, but do you, I thought they were the actual um, handmade papers. They're scanned. They're the scanned handmade papers, so they're not even the real ones. But they're nice for collaging, like if you need, you know, just a simple piece of paper to rip up and put down somewhere. So my thoughts here is I'm going to... If I can get my, there's two pieces of paper here. Just a sec. Okay, go grab a piece of paper, and I'm going to stick a real piece of paper on there rather than just the scan. I think I like it more over there to get my mojo going it's just not happening for me today sometimes you just probably just need to have a break and do something different so I'm going to put that there I like that and then I'm just going to grab this I don't want green. I want to put, maybe I want to put something like that over here. Maybe that's upside down. I don't know. Colors good. I might put that color on there. Just let's have a look. I do want to just trim a little bit off here. going to put it that way even though that's upside down I'm going to put it that way I like that I might even grab a piece of this so stick some paper there 
And then I had this flower left over from the other day. Let me have a look at that. That keeps looking at me. Oh, isn't that pretty? I might stick that there. I was thinking on the front, but it's going to be too big for the front anyway. I'm going to stick it over there. Kind of, you know, covering up all the upside downness, except for that bit over there. So that's going to go there. And then here, where are my birds? over there. I think these birds are too, they'd be lovely on there too, but they're too big. I need a smaller bird and I don't know if I've got them printed here. Don't have any more birds there. More Tracy labels. I need to sort those out. Okay, I'm just. Oh wait, what have I got here? I don't. I don't think I want any fairies. Flower fairies. Just having a look at all the things I've got there. No, nothing there. So let me just grab this one here. Now, I didn't make this. I get lots of questions whenever I pull this out. I didn't make it. It was sent to me. So um, oh, I like that butterfly. Oh, I think I like that one more. That's just cut out of a book. I don't even know what book. Stick the little bird there. I was wondering where I had put these. I couldn't find them. Or I was thinking of something with red. these ones out so pretty quiet nothing too too much happening so nothing too much to tell you I don't think I've even hardly been out uh, I did struggle with that tag the other day maybe that sucked all the energy out of me quite like that one I just want to test how this one is The red. Okay. So it would be fun to cut a window in these as well, especially if you um, printed them double sided. I mean, you're going to need that's a pretty big envelope. That's going to have to fit in a very big journal. A 
It's cute, I like it. And I like it when you open it up like that. So there we go. That's that one. This one here. I'd love to put a bird on this one. So let's just cut this bird out. This is printed on a, it's kind of like a, I ain't nearly coloured, it's a textural sort of paper. I like the feeling of it. it. Sort of feels like paper when you've when you've painted on it and you've mixed gesso in with your paint or you've done a gesso sort of base and you get that sort of texture. Now I use I always I pretty much always use printed except for that last one printed birds because I don't actually have that many bird books really I had um, I had bought one or two but I didn't really all that size of them weren't the right size or I didn't like when I got them in person I didn't like sort of the how do you say the like the tone the color of them on the paper like they were too dark sort of thing I can't remember what book it was but I I just find I never use it like they weren't really well defined or it was some famous person who always illustrated birds but it wasn't done I didn't like the the production of the book that publication I should say sure I want to have that bird there. Or does it fit on here? No. No, that's silly. Put here, but I need to put something behind it. So I can definitely have some of this, I think. Oh, what about one of these torn? It's got similar colours in it. I don't know. I think I'll glue that down. this stuff this papery stuff it's not it's not exactly washi tape it's like you've got to glue it down but maybe I prefer a piece of this I'm just going to take that sticky bit off for a second and just see I might prefer that yes I think I do rather than that other paper I thought it would I thought it was washi tape but it's not actually it's just a roll of paper 
and I don't think you peel it off. No, it doesn't look like it's got a backing on it. But when you stick it down, it does kind of, it's, you know, you can see what's underneath a little bit. Okay, I really like that. No, let's see. So it feels like washi tape, but it's, yeah, it's just paper, so you have to glue it down. Oh, I quite like that there. That's going to go there. And then what do I want to put here? I don't think I want a stamp. I don't think I would have a stamp here that would that I would like, but I might. You never know. I haven't used these floral stamps for a really long time. I'm just looking to see if there's anything that sort of grabs me. Oh yeah, that's it. Very nice. I like that. So these would be fun, um, you know, pretty Happy Mail sort of envelopes. Although those ladies that send out those Happy Mails do some really amazing, elaborate things. Okay, so that's that. And I don't think it really needs anything much on that side, does it? Put a stamp. I don't want to overdo it, do I? No, I think I'll just leave it. I don't want to sort of ruin it. So that's that one. And then that one. I... Yeah, okay. Let's have a look at these. So this is going to be my front. This is going to attach down on the page. And I don't want to cover it too much, but I would like to put something on there. Let's just see what's here. So I pulled these out the other day in my video. I've got this little wildflowers book here too. I like that one. do we have? Got all these butterflies. So let's see what's in this basket.
might as well just see what's in here. Could put a little um that one I wanted this one. I think you could put a tab on there, no. Oh, here's a few Mrs. Cog's images. Oh, there's all my brushes. Ha. Ah. No, nothing in there. You'd think there would be something in there, but there's not that I want. Uh, I do like that, but it's a bit pink. I don't think I want any of these. None of those. what I like on this one and I'm going to put a little bit of something behind it I think what have I got floating around that piece put that there I'm pretty sure about this one I think little label but not that one maybe a green one I don't even care what's written on them I don't even look at that I just whatever it is. it's just if I like it or not it put that one there I'm sorry I'm so quiet today it's just the way it is just a quiet day it's just a quiet day no that way okay try not to lose the antennas I nearly said the antlers I've said that before I know I get confused just a confused person. Cute. And then you can decide to put something on there if you want to. I'll leave it for now. And then we have this one, which is that way. And... I always like a little bit of book page on there. I can't help myself. I am going to stick a little bit of book page there. I didn't like that one. It's the wrong colour. Put it on crooked. 
and I need where's that gone here I wanted to see if I had a nice little bird or something oh it's upside down oh I could stick mushrooms on there don't mind that that's a possibility what else do we have in here I don't have much because I've taken it all out I put it in my boxes but my boxes are over there and I didn't want to get up and get them I mean, they're fine, but they're just not, not leaping out at me. Too green. There's not much to choose from. Now we're in the bird section. Too big. That would have been cute, but I just like oh, that bird. I'm going to cut that bird out, this big one. I cut a bit of his head off. Oh well. These have a nice point to get into these little spots here, these scissors. Okay. Okay. That's done. And I do like that on there. Now his little tail is not going to fit perfectly so it's going to have to be snipped so just a bit of random crafting today that's what you have to do when you don't know what you want to do just do some random making just for the sake of making really that there. I'm not going to fold it around because that's not sticking down anywhere. So we've lost a bit of tail. We'll take the tail out of sight so we forget about it. And then See if I've got anything in here. I'm going to have to cut all those up and put them in there, aren't I? I'm liking the red. We've got all colours going on here. We've got green, red and blue. I think I might stick it down there and leave that. Okay, well, here's my No Mojo video. I think that, that'll be it for today. It's my Mo No Mojo video, we'll call it. And I've just made some little flippy pockets. You can stick a tag in there. I've got a few Easter tags still. Oh, no, these aren't Easter, but they're from those kits. And they just sit in there nicely. Look at that. So you can put a tag in there, put a tag in that one. And that attaches to the page and flips out. And this one flips the other way. And then I just made these big envelopes from the pretty paper. There. 
So that they, if you're going to put those in a journal, those are pretty big. They'd have to go in a big journal. And then there's that one. I nearly covered all of that. And there. So that is it, guys. Sorry for the lack of mojo and lack of energy today, but that's just, some days are just like that. Um, but I just wanted to pop in and say hello because I didn't get in, I didn't get a video in yesterday. And, um, and I will hopefully be more energetic tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.